Hey guys, this is Lawrence from BuildMyEcommerce.com. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on how I import multiple products using an extension called CSV Product Import in OpenCard. Uh, so, first thing you need to do is download this extension from OpenCard.com. Uh, go to Extensions and do a search for a CSV Product Import. Uh, this cost uh, $15 and it's very easy to use which I really like uh, to see how to format the CSV file you can download the sample from here uh, but I've created my own so uh, I just want to show you that so I'm using a Google Docs spreadsheet but you can be using other programs such as Microsoft um, Excel and some other programs out there anyways uh, once you're logged into the Gmail click on this account go to Drive and you want to go to create spreadsheet and I, I want to import the spreadsheet that I created so go to file import browse and then here's the CSV file click open and I want to replace the current sheet and then leave the separator character as automatic and click import okay as you can see I just have a couple products in here uh, to make it easy and also uh, at the top here uh, these are my uh, product fields uh, there's much more than these than these here but again I wanna do a quick introduction video on how to import this thing so just wanna, just wanna make it easy so I just have the the model number the name of the product the price uh, the description I'm using on HTML to make it look nice uh, the link to the main product image and then also the link for the the secondary image in the name of the category uh, subtract stock so zero means uh, do not subtract any of the stock and then one means to subtract the stock and the quantity of the product here uh, so these two products I just you know got from the amazon.com nothing special so how do I upload uh, this file to do that, you want to go to the back end of your open card. Uh, once you have logged in, go into uh, System CSV Product Import. And here, uh, under the General tab, Product Update Mode, you want to keep it at Add New Records. Uh, this is my first time uploading. And then for the field delimiter, uh, you want to select comma and then leave the file character set and then for the file go to browse and then go into open card and upload the other uh, CSV file click open and then just leave these other ones as is uh, don't even touch it click next Uh, so these are the product fields that I have as you can see there's a bunch more which I'm not using uh, if you want to use these you can if you want uh, one thing that I want to point out here is that uh, you want to match the name of the product field from here on your left because uh, if it's a different name uh, it wouldn't be able to sync in here so you would have to you know click each one and then choose the uh, the correct field which is can be time consuming so just keep that in mind when you're creating the CSV file uh, click next and then we'll start the upload the, the, the import process and it's very quick I only have two products in here so once it's done it will tell you completion 100% click done 
uh, once you have done that um, go to catalog categories and I have this new category here called clothing but I want it to show up at the top of my website to do that go into the data tab and click the uh, this top checkbox in here click save and let's go to the main storefront as you can see the clothing menu is at the top here click on that and you will see the two products that I just uploaded so let's just click one of these here as you can see that's the my that's my main product image and then here is my secondary image and then my product descriptions here as you can see on below and then my model number and then the price and my product name at the top here so that's how easy it is to upload your product um, if you have any questions uh, please leave a comment and I'll try to answer thank you uh, see you next time bye